there we're going to talk about creating your first HTML page and we're going to use the code editor called Atom which I have a video a previous video about how to download and, and install this uh, you're welcome to use any text or code editor that you'd like but this example will be in Atom so if you uh, don't have one that you like to use then I would suggest downloading that you can also use things such as Sublime Text, Visual Studio Code, Notepad++, or Brackets. So any of those uh, will work just as well as Atom. This just happens to be the, the one that I'm using right now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do in your code editor is start a new file. So you can go up to File, New File, and that's going to be pretty similar in every single one. You're going to want to make sure that you tell your computer or your code editor what you're coding in. So in the bottom right hand corner there is an option that currently says plain text. You can select from all these different languages. So we're going to select HTML. Okay, now it knows when we're typing, it knows what we're what we're doing. The very first line of every web page should be your doc type declaration and that is a bracket with an exclamation point the words doc type and then HTML and this signifies that this is an HTML5 document in earlier versions of HTML this was something that you could hardly remember because it was a very long uh, list of things that you were you had to put in the doc type so we're very happy that HTML5 has shortened that so basically this tells the web browser, hey, what follows here is going to be HTML, HTML5 more specifically, and you know process this page as such. Now the next very first tag that you're going to have in your HTML document is the HTML tag. And again, that's going to be a, a bracket with the, the letters HTML and the way that tags work in HTML is you have an opening tag so that's the opening tag and then you have a closing tag which looks very similar but it has the slash that indicates that it's a closing tab tag okay so ideally everything is going to be in the same order as these tags are created. So this this is kind of the parent. Okay, if you think about it as a tree, this is the parent, and we're going to have two children within our HTML document. Okay, the first child is going to be called head, and within the head section is where we're going to put things like the title of our page, and the title of the page will come up in the browser tab window. It will also be displayed in like Google search results. So the title of the page is very important. It needs to be in the head section. So that's the first child and the second child is called the body. And the body is basically what you see in the HTML page. So everything in the head section is pretty much just information. and uh, you might see something called a meta, M-E-T-A tag, and that can tell other information about the web page. So you might see something in there, a description, and you might see something about like a page author, things like that. You might see a language, what, uh, what type of language or character set you're using, so keyboard character set. So, but the very, very minimal that you need here in the head, the first child, is going to be title. So, we're just going to put the title tag in here, and I'm going to leave a little space, and then I'm going to close that title tag. Okay, so this is the first tag that's actually going to contain some text. Okay, because right now all we have up here is tags, and tags that are nested or inside of another HTML tag. So if you look at this title tag, it is nested inside the head tag. Okay, so I'm going to create my first web page. Okay, and again, this is going to show up 
in the browser tab window. Okay, so that's what I'm going to have in the head. Now in the body, that is where all of your content that you want displayed on the page is going to go. So in this video, we're just going to talk about a couple tags because I don't want to overwhelm you in this one video. We're going to focus on primarily using tags for text only. Okay, we're going to start slow here. So there are two types of tags that we're really going to use frequently in our structure for our text on our page. And the first one is a paragraph tag. Okay, so I'm going to tab in because whenever I'm nesting inside of a particular section such as body I like to nest in so that it's easier for me to read and if I had you know a hundred or a couple hundred lines or a thousand lines of code I could kind of use this as an easier way to see what is going on so I'm going to type a, the paragraph tag is just a P that's it just a P and I'm because I want to be a good coder I'm going to automatically close that P and then I'm going to kind of backspace to my section here. So you save the opening tag, the closing tag. Okay, and then I can start writing my content. This is my first web page that I am creating with the Atom text editor. Okay, now the, the, the style of a paragraph is that you could technically have as much text in the paragraph tag as you want and it will just kind of word wrap on the page. But let's think about usability here. It's never too late to think about the, the people that will actually be using this, this information. Um, you want to make it readable. So that means you don't want your paragraphs to be too long. Okay, so I would say, you know, four or five lines uh, or sentences per paragraph at the most. And, um, the easy way to break up your content is to use what's called a heading. Okay, now don't get confused with head. There's actually head, heading, and header. Okay, so that it gets a little crazy. Um, headings are those really cool, bold, larger font areas that make it easy for us to separate our content and kind of introduce our sections and topics. So I'm going to put a, a, a heading up here above this P tag. Now there are six levels of headings and what you need to think about is uh, there's actually an information organization purpose to our headings. So the first heading and the largest heading, the most important heading, is an H1. Okay, so this, this says this is the most important thing on this page. Now, I want you to think about the type of user that maybe has visual impairments and is relying on a screen reader for your page. So they are very much in need of understanding the organization of your information on your page. So the screen reader will look for those H1s and it will read out those H1s and then if you have subheadings underneath your H1 such as in H2 it will kind of see that that is a child within the H1 group the H1 heading so you always want to use headings more than likely you're not going to get down to using H6 which is the smallest or the, the least significant heading but very often you'll use H1, H2s in your page. Um, you may use H3. So I'm going to say about this page. Okay, and I'm going to close my H1. Okay, so all we should see when we go to preview this is we should just see this section, this information on the page. Okay, of course the browser is going to interpret these tags so you're not going to see the H1. You're going to see about this page and then you're going to see this is my first web page I'm creating with the Atom text editor. In order for us to see what this looks like, we first need to save it. So I'm going to go up to File, Save, or you can use Control S if you like to use shortcuts. And I'm going to go ahead and save this 
in a folder that I have created. You always want to have a specific folder for your web projects. Okay, so I'm going to just call this my first page dot html. Couple things about naming your html files. You should always use lowercase letters and there should be no spaces. You'll hear me repeat this like a broken record in probably every video. Lowercase, no spaces. Then you have to specify .html because you're telling the system what type of file this is. You'll notice it says save as type all files. So that means it's basically wanting me to put something in here. I'm going to click save. Okay, now that I have it, how do I see it? Right? So a lot of things allow you to preview what your page looks like and we might be able to find a package for um, for Adam that will allow us to preview but in the case that you don't have one like right now you can navigate to that folder and you have all the tools that you need right here on your computer so here's my first page and you'll notice that my computer unfortunately aligns this with the Microsoft Edge browser so I'm going to actually go I'm going to right click on it and say open with and I'm going to choose Chrome because as a web developer Google Chrome is the best browser for us to use and we'll probably be talking about that in future courses okay so this is what you'll see about this page and here so that's my heading and that is my paragraph and I can continue a lot of times what I do is I just keep my window kind of up and you could technically minimize this as well and there's a way to um, view and a soft word wrap okay so I can kind of edit here now it's not going to automatically update because I need to refresh my browser in order to get these changes so this is my second paragraph Okay, so remember every section needs to have every tag needs to have an open and closing tag there are a few tags that don't need a closing tag but we'll talk about that in a future a future video so in in order for me to see the changes I have to go and save them right because they're not stored to that file and then I can come click the reload button and there is my second paragraph Okay, and then maybe I want to have an H2 and then say um, HTML5. Okay, this is going to be a smaller heading and I'm going to say this page is, t is allowing me to practice with HTML5 tags. And I'm going to save. I'm going to reload and so here is my H2 doesn't look you can't really tell that it's smaller but believe it or not it is okay um, and that is my next paragraph so your very first thing that you're going to want to do when you're starting to learn HTML is practice with the structure the doc type the HTML opening closing at the bottom the head section and you'll see there's the title my first web page and here it is my first web page and then you've got the second child the body and then you've got h1 p p h2 p okay so practice with these and we'll introduce some more tags in the next video thanks bye